What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video from Exotic Astrology. Today we are back with yet another example chart. If you have not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe to it and please share these videos with your family, friends and colleagues and your loved ones so that they can benefit from astrology. And before beginning as usual I will always say God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will be there. Today I have the chart of a female who is very spiritual in nature and also very strong as a person. Well, I will demonstrate the positions which lead to this nature of the person. First, we see the Lord of the Ascendant, Sagittarius rising because this is the first house. Number 9. The Lord is Jupiter has gone to the ninth house in the sign of Leo. So, it shows that the life focus of the person will be towards spirituality, etc. Now, Sun here is also in the fifth house which is also one of the trines. And Sun is exalted here in the sign of Aries. Fabulous. Mercury is exalted in the sign of Virgo. Saturn is in Digbala, having directional strength in the 7th house. Moon is in its own sign. Mars is in the 7th house in the sign of Gemini. And Venus, the significator of spouse, is also in the 9th house. And whenever we have such placements of Venus in the 9th or Jupiter or Jupiter-Venus combined in the 9th house, it is seen in our observation that whenever people want to marry somebody, they will always look for long-term commitment. Well, now you may say that everybody looks for long-term commitment, but many people don't these days. When I say here long-term commitment, it means the person is very strict towards staying with one person and never ever ever thinking of parting ways with the person it is like a traditional marriage in the indian scenario which is very true with this girl now some difficulties with the marriage because there are two malefics situated in the seventh house also the lord of the seventh house mercury who has gone to the tenth house in exaltation although it is in exaltation but it is in the 10th house so it shows that the husband or the spouse of this native will be all always working okay geared towards working towards name fame status and is also likely to be spiritual in nature because venus the natural significator of spouse is also in the ninth house in the sign of Leo. What are the other placements that give spirituality to the native? It is the placement of moon in the 8th house. Because 8th house is what? It is the house of secrecy, darkness and occult also. And this girl is also interested in astrology and other topics. Now if we go into more detailed analysis we will understand that here mars is aspecting the 10th house where mercury the ruler of the 7th house is placed so not only mars is placed in the 7th house it is also aspecting the 7th lord which clearly goes to tell me that the marriage can have issues related to mars which is fire and too much aggression too much heat so that thing has to be controlled and I have given the necessary precautions for this girl well what are the precautions I could suggest I would suggest worshipping Lord Vishnu because Mercury represents Lord Vishnu himself so if you worship Lord Vishnu then because the sign Gemini is in the seventh house the seventh house which is the house of marriage will be protected so this is how we suggest remedies not just gemstones. Also here, the placement of 
Rahu in the 8th house makes the person very much interested towards occult, spirituality, etc. And the Lagna Lord itself in the 9th house of divine knowledge, along with Venus, the 6th Lord of celibacy, and the 11th Lord of network circles, games. Which means that after marriage, this person will gain because Jupiter is also considered to be the significator of children. So either you call after childbirth or you call it after marriage the gains will improve because the 11th lord is sitting in the 9th house with jupiter and inherently she is a very strong person very determined to do what she wants because <clears throat> the planet sun is in its exaltation in the sign of aries it's very strong and the father of this native is a very hot-headed person. <laughs> he is a very angry person. Most of the times he is angry and sometimes you will see him being not angry. <laughs> Which is because of the placement of sun in Aries. Too much fire. The planet of fire in the sign of fire. That too Aries is having the highest fire. So that is why. Although it is exalted but it's too much aggression, too much anger. Now, super intelligence. Mercury exalted. Tenth Lord itself exalted. So very good for career related to Mercury like communication, business, etc. And if we go to aspects, then we see that Saturn and Mars are both aspecting the Lagna, which makes the person very hardworking. And Saturn also aspects the 4th house with its 10th aspect. So there can be times when she might have to leave her homeland and settle somewhere else. Especially after marriage because the 12th lord of foreign lands is sitting in the 7th house. What is 7th house? 7th house is the house of marriage. Another combination is the ruler of the 5th house is in the 7th house. Which is a clear indication of a love marriage. Because the Lord of the Love house has gone to the house of the marriage. Now, the Lord of the Ninth house has gone to the Fifth house in exaltation. Because Sun rules the Ninth house. Because the number 5 is falling in the Ninth house. And in the Fifth house, Sun is sitting with exaltation. Which clearly tells me that the moment she has children, her spiritual life will improve. This is also because Jupiter, the natural significator of children, is also sitting in the ninth house, aspecting back the Lagna, being the Lagna Lord itself, which clearly tells me that she should get married as soon as possible and have children. By that, it will benefit her, her life. And she's a very sweet person because Jupiter, Venus, both are sweet planets, sweet planets sitting together. That we know very beautiful house, aspecting the Lagna, Jupiter aspects the Lagna with its fifth aspect. What else do I need to say? I think that is it from my side. Very strong person, very spiritual, yet a bit hot-headed. <laughs> that is it from my side. And lastly, remedy for the seventh house, worshipping Lord Vishnu, especially. Okay? So, that is it from my side. If you have any questions, queries or comments, then please let me know in the comment section. And until next time, bye-bye. See you.